What's up everybody? Today is July 21st, 2024. I'm currently on my break at work. And um, I have a prediction slash maybe considered a conspiracy theory. Depends, I suppose, how you look at it. So again, today is July 21st, 2024. And um, President Joe Biden, who is currently the President of the United States, just announced that today that he is not going to run for re-election. And so um, former President Donald Trump has already uh, got the Republican nomination for uh, president so he's going to be running on the republican side and so now since joe biden is not going to be running uh, joe biden he officially endorsed kamala harris right but i mean anyone could run but um it's looking like uh it's very strong case that uh, kamala harris could become uh, the democratic nominee now that joe biden is not going to run um but regardless of that or kind of not regardless, but yeah, kind of regardless of that, I have a feeling, this is where the conspiracy slash um, prediction comes in, I have a feeling that this is all a well-calculated, well-timed-out strategy by the Democratic Party um, for Biden, Joe Biden, to... Hey, you out of here? See ya. All right. Later. You have a good day. Yeah, you. Um, this is um, a well a well thought out strategy uh, again by the, the the Democratic Party to uh, get Joe Biden out first of all, which they've done today. They uh, essentially pushed out Joe Biden. Said, hey, 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 Joe Biden. You're too old, whatever. You need to step aside and let someone else run, right? That's step one of their plan, okay? I believe. I believe step two of their plan is for Joe Biden to be declared unfit to even continue the rest of his presidency, in which case Kamala Harris becomes president of the United States by default. I really, really believe, again, this is a prediction slash conspiracy theory if you want to call it that I really believe that that's the plan step again step one of the plan was to get Biden to step aside and and say that he's not going to run for re-election and then step two again is um, you know how they're going to go about it who knows have a doctor assess him or whatever and say hey you know say you know they say oh a doctor assessed him and said you know sure enough he doesn't seem to be fit to continue uh, even to run to president for the next six months, you know, until January. And so, you know, since he's unfit, he can't be president anymore. Who becomes president? That's the current vice president, Kamala Harris. And so I believe that Kamala Harris will become president of the United States by default because, again, they're going to uh, have Joe Biden bow out of not just running for re-election they're gonna have joe biden bow out of the presidency in general again this is just today it's just step one step one is get him to 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 to, to step down um and running for re-election and step two of their plan is to get him to step down completely as president and get kamala harris to run as president as the incumbent president think about those words if that happens if you know if uh like I said, Joe Biden, his wife, or doctors, whoever, say, hey, you know, I don't think uh, Joe Biden is fit to continue his presidency anymore. Okay, he has to step down. And again, uh, Kamala Harris becomes president by default. Now she's running. She's the candidate. She's the, the Democratic nominee, essentially, uh, again, by default. It's like, who's going to run against the uh, incumbent um, president on the democratic side nobody she would be the democratic nominee slash the uh, incumbent president running for office and so i believe i strongly strongly believe that that's their plan not to just have kamala harris running against uh former president trump as she currently is as vp no they want joe biden to completely step down so 
she runs against uh, Trump as the incumbent president, as the current president of the United States. That's their plan. That's step two, the final phase of their plan. I strongly, strongly believe that's going to happen um, before the voting starts in November. Again, this is speculation. It's just prediction, conspiracy theory, if you want to call it that. But I strongly, strongly believe that's going to happen. We'll see. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next video.